Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and in this Vue.js 3 video tutorial, we will learn that how we can reuse a component. So these are the points for this video. First of all, we will make a child component. We will import it and use it in our parent component. After that, we will uh, make a for loop for uh, user list and uh, we will include our child component inside this loop. After that, uh, we will pass some data from the parent component to child component within the loop and at the last uh, i will tell you an interview question and this is a really important interview question for your application performance speed as well as uh, logical purpose right so now let's get started this is our output screen and here we will write our code so i am making a component with the name of user dot view and let's just define this comp uh, template for this component close this template and let me add here a h2 tag and now i can put here some text for a moment user component after that let me add a script tag close this script tag and uh, just simply put here export default component name can be user same as a file name for a moment this is enough and import it inside our home component import user from user dot view register this component in components property just simply put here user after that let me add here uh, close these quotes and use here child like this okay this is registered but not in use because by mistakely i just use here child sorry for that and now this is working fine great so now i am defining some data let me define a data property which is basically a function we can return our statement mm -mm. again All right okay so i just forgot to put here a comma now uh, i am defining a user array basically users array and uh, inside it we will define some users in our object so let's say username can be anil sidhu or let's just put here anil only and after that email address email anil at the rate test.com perfect with the same way i can copy and paste it sometime and make some more users like uh, Sam, Peter, Peter at the test.com, its email ID, and last one is Bruce. You can again put here email ID for Bruce. Great, let's make it format. All right, that's fine. So let's apply a for loop on these users for a moment without our uh, component reuse. So let me put here UL like this and uh, now what we can do here let me add here a mm, ally close this ally just put here v that means for view for and let's take a item in uh, users and after that we also need to define here key right so for key we can simply define here id but we don't have id for moment so we can put here simply item dot name but if we have id then we will always recommend that use the id as a key great after that let's simply put here item dot name so let's check out the output for a moment now you can see that this is our user list right 
so with the same way we can also define uh, let's say you can define user email address also item dot email and this is working fine for a moment we are not adding a style much more but when we have the lots of information like uh, now we have only two fields like name and email so let's say we have the lots of information like name address office address profile picture email address phone number employee id etc etc right but that time we should not define all these things in a single component because lots of data we can put in a separate component and this is this is the purpose of the component so that we can separate the things right and let's say you want to use this list on another place also so that you can just uh, import the user component and use it so what we can i am doing here i am just using my users inside this loop and now you will find that we got a user component printed four time because now our component have inside the loop and let's pass here some data with the colon so that we can get to know that we are passing the variable inside it and just put pass here item that's fine in a user component first of all let's just define a prop so that our component should know that some data is actually coming right with the name of data and uh, we can put here this is a object all right and here we can print our data uh, let's say in a user component what we can do can simply put here mm, data dot name right and here we have names the same way we can take one more thing uh, one more h2 tag and put can our emails now we have emails but they are not looking like uh, uh, this this is look, looking really bad so let's try to add little bit style with that right so i am taking these both h2 tags inside a div and let me add here a class and our let's say class name is user place here and uh, now let's define here style also style and uh, that's fine now let's add some style with that div so let me open uh, users class div background color sky blue border bottom one pixel solid padding 10 pixel margin bottom 15 pixel fine so now we can copy these things and simply add this style here but we also need to put here dot user class like this great so now let's check out the output working great there is a no issue so we didn't all these things but we don't get get the interview question yet so my question is that so on a button click i want to define a button here so let me define it like this let me close this button and uh, alert username or something right we have this so that one i want to call a function right so i am defining like i just want to alert something so let me define here methods right just wait for a moment you will get a really interesting and logical thing and we can just get here get data this is our function name alert uh, username or something for a moment let's make it just normal string use here v on click get data right and let's try to alert it this is working fine but now there is a issue because we are using our users component inside a loop here right here you can see that enough 
v for loop that's why now we have the for get data function because this function is also coming inside the loop so it will also define the four times so whenever we are clicking on the first one then it will the different alert function that one is the different alert function or get data function and that one is the difference so we are actually defined our get data function four times so can we reduce it so this can be an interview question so how we can reduce the uh, data uh, data function uh, duplicacy so for that you can define th these methods in your parent component like here right and now pass this data inside our user so just put here colon get data equal to get data right and we just need to put here one more property like here get data function now let's see is it working fine or not yeah let me just refresh it for a moment now this is working fine right so now we have only one function so let's how we can make it dynamic now so let's our pass data dot email right or data dot name you want to print a name now inside our parameter let's get here name and put it's inside it alert like name and let's check out this data is it working or not here you can see that anil sam peter and whatever you want to uh, want to alert so with that way you can save your uh, duplicate functions you can save your time code and all if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video